Uh, let me first, okay, I have been doing this lately, although I mean, I haven't do, been doing this recently, but I've been doing it for February. For some reason, I have been led to, you know, count the cards like I used to. If you used to, uh, if you see my videos in the past, I would like always count the cards. For some reason, I haven't been. And so, uh, so, okay, I think if I did my math correctly while I'm talking, um, I do try to multitask. I think this adds up to a six. And it's interesting because we already have a, a six in, in the reading. Uh, we have the six here of wands. So I feel that, um, for some of you, we, okay, we have a decision to make, or you have a decision to make, I guess I should say, Libra. Um, I also get that, uh, well, first of all, at the heart of the matter, we have the Five of Swords. Now, this can mean conflict, arguments, fighting, uh, quite frequently. Uh, this can also represent, um, um, somebody stabbing you in the back or kind of, um, a loss or, um, somebody feels, somebody feels hurt or betrayed or defeated and somebody over here, um, they, you know, sometimes I look at it as the card of consequences, but the person isn't really looking at, the effect that they have, or if they are, they don't really care, which that is a concern. The five does speak to conflict, instability, um, changes that are coming around. And here we have three people, and we also have the number three in the outcome position. I feel for somebody uh, with this card, this could also be an inner battle. This may be an inner battle that you are dealing with yourself. Um, and with everything also adding up to a six, that has to do with, there's a, uh, you know, I get that there is a problem that needs to be solved. Harmony, uh, communication, um, working together in order to get a resolution. And because I feel like for somebody, um, I feel, uh, I feel like somebody, I don't know if this is the right word. I'm getting delays. I'm getting things have slowed down. Um, I feel like somebody is frustrated. And it could be to the point that maybe somebody is frustrated that they're creating conflict where really conflict isn't needed. Um, but this is also in my challenge position. This means movement, you know, action. Things are changing. They're rearranging. They're, they're regenerating. And here it's in my challenge position. It's almost like it's reversed. So I feel like there's delays, maybe delays in moving forward. There may have been a situation where somebody has offered something. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, does not have to be, but that could be a prevalent sign in their chart. Um, now, granted, this is the underlying theme. So it doesn't necessarily mean that there's a, a situation involving you and two other people, although there could be, because we have three people here, like I said earlier, and the number three. You may have a choice in love in February. There may be a choice that somebody is making that is a, going to be affecting you in February. I don't feel like this is really necessarily a surprise. I feel like you're aware of this. So if you're not aware of it, don't worry about that. Um, but I also get the feeling that something, you know, this may not be an actual person, but an energy and it's getting grounded. Uh, but it's also, you know, it's to me, um, it's really getting firm in what it is that you want. You may be at a standstill, but for a good reason. And this could be you yourself. 
you know, the energy of, okay, this isn't going anywhere. This isn't going anywhere. Uh, what's going to help is I, it is some type of action or movement or getting some support or some backing or somebody to help the situation move along. Or maybe there's got to be a way where you can help and support each other instead of fighting. It's almost like you're fighting against each other. There could be arguments going on, like I said earlier. Um but I feel also that there is somebody feels like they're not, um, I, I get the feeling somebody out there is feeling like they're ta being taken advantage of, that they are not, um, you know, like somebody says, I don't know, I heard a worthy opponent, a worthy opponent there may be somebody that just kind of comes in and wreaks havoc because they, 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 and I, I don't like this energy because I feel like they wreak havoc because they can. It's not so much that they, it's like a power thing to them. And I, I'm not liking this energy here. And I almost feel like somebody is maybe taking advantage of some situation or of somebody where there's a delay. Um, because I feel like someone is being hidden or somebody's being put on the back burner. It's kind of like, I don't know. I see it almost like someone playing with their dolls. Like they, they, they grab a doll or they want to play with it when they want to play with it. But when they're, when they're done, they just kind of put it back. And it's almost like they look at people as kind of objects or, um, something to be like an obstacle to be conquered. I mean, that sounds really bad, but I feel like somebody is dealing with some, with somebody that's like that. Uh, they come across very caring. Um, especially here, the, the Knight of Cups is like, to me, this is really a beautiful card. It's, it's, you know, kind of like the knight in shining armor or they're, they're romantic. Um, they're, they're here. They're offering you love. Um, but I feel that there is possibly somebody in February that could be coming in that is, there's a possibility of somebody being, uh, what's the word? See, I, I, I feel like someone's kind of possibly playing a game with somebody and then somebody comes in or maybe you realize what you had wasn't really as bad, you know, um, as you thought or somebody comes in that is. I don't know. It, you know, I, I, I get the energy like this person may look like one, one of them may be, um, they may look really good on the outside, but what's on the inside is not quite, um, uh, I feel like the, the person that you would be better off with would maybe be the person that's not, you know, like the prince, you know, knight shining armor on the outside, but on the inside he is, or she is, whatever the case is. Because I feel like someone's misleading someone. And almost as if it's like someone's going for the wrong thing. Don't go for, you know, what's that saying? Never judge a book by its cover. Because it's really what's on the inside that matters. In many, many, many ways. And that's the feeling that I'm getting. I feel like somebody is put on a bookshelf. Like they're just, you know... 
I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know why. I feel like this person possibly is very immature and is like, can you come out and play? I mean, it just... You know, it's kind of um, it's some kind of strange energy that I'm getting from this person. I'm not sure. Um, so if they if you hear charming, oh, my gosh, he's so charming. That's a red flag. Charming to me is not a compliment. Um, that's usually a warning sign. So if there is somebody that comes into your life that is like your knight in shining armor, and maybe there has been somebody around you that you just, you know, um, maybe they're not quite what you think. I, I don't know. I feel like somebody's going to have a lesson to learn in terms of don't just go for the outside. You want the whole package. You know, don't ignore what's on the inside. So just heed the warning forewarned is forearmed. Uh, because I feel like somebody comes across a certain way. And you will know if you listen to your intuition and you don't allow, you know, yourself to just be swept off your feet. And I mean, which yes, can be a wonderful thing, but if you get some feeling in you, like if there's an inkling of, wait a second, listen to it, okay? Because there's um, there's more to the deal than, you know, or to the situation than meets the eye. That's kind of what I'm getting. And for some of you, it may just be that love is coming in um, and... It's, it's been, it's been a battle. Um, but it's been a battle for a reason is what I'm being led to say. So I like that this card is here. You know, this is, um, being in, you know, generally speaking, I mean, like the traditional meaning is, you know, victory. It's moving forward. Uh, but you know, when I look at the cards and I look at this, I really kind of feel that quite a few of you for whom this message even applies. Okay. Obviously if you're married and happy, this isn't going to apply to you, but I feel like you may be victorious in moving away from this because you can see this a mile away. Like, you know, you're well aware and then you're moving forward and you're looking to your future. Could be that maybe you're not interested in either one of these. You know, you're looking to what comes next. You know, maybe both of them didn't pass your test or, you know, what you wanted. And you're standing strong in your resolve and looking out to your future, which... Um, this is very beautiful to me. The three represents growth. So you're growing, you know, maybe where you wouldn't recognize this type of person or this charmer, uh, you now recognize it and you decide to, you know, go and, and move past that. So, and there may be somebody here waiting in the, in the, Wings, And this could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, or, you know, have that as their uh, prevalent sign in their astrological chart or moon or rising sign or something like that. Um, but we do have quite a few ones here also. There's a, a lot of passion, a lot of energy, a lot of creativity. Uh, the fire signs just you know, in case you don't know, are Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. So, you know, and some of you in February may be saying goodbye to somebody. You know, like you've had enough. This could be representative of you um, or I don't know. I don't know. When I see this person, though, I just get kind of jealousy and... So you may be one of these other people. Maybe you're, you're this person here that just, you choose to walk away and your hell, head 
held strong in your victorious and you're moving onward. Something new is coming in. And this, you know, this could be new love that comes in. It also could be, you know what? I need some time to myself. I need to kind of sort myself out and figure out what I want. And for some of you, it's a decision. It could be a decision between two people, as I said earlier. So, um, all right. Well, let's see here. You know, these are just some messages that I'm getting. Let's see with the Oracle cards, if it shines any more light for you, Libra. Okay. Oh, well, that kind of hopped out. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And so that makes sense with exactly what I've been talking about. Uh, now, maybe this could be a temporary separation. You may also be separated. And while you're separated, you know, you both have agreed, let's take time apart or date other people. And it could be that somebody in February does come in um, and, you know, acts like this and you're like, oh my gosh. And you kind of are like, wow, I really, you know, you realize what you have is, is really powerful with the person you've separated from others of you. It is, it, this is what I was talking about where you are separating and you're, you're looking out on your own. You know, you're looking to your future. You want to leave this toxic person behind or this jealous person or this person can't make up their mind. You know, um, and it could also be that somebody, like I said, has come into your life or will come in in February and you, you know, you want to take some time apart from your partner to, to like, why is this person that's come in affected me so much, you know? And so you, you want to take time to yourself to sort out what direction you're going to go in because there's two other people involved possibly. So, and you know, it, it could very well be that um, there have been some conflicts or maybe there's arguments over, you know, moving or somebody having to travel so much for work um, and you're separate all the time. There's a lot of separation because they're always traveling. I mean, there are people that travel like Monday through Thursday and they're just home on the weekends. And maybe you're deciding, do I want to keep putting up with this? You know, so it's going to be different for whom these messages even apply. But what I love to see, though, is that there's, you know, it's kind of like getting grounded. This is our underlying theme, getting centered, you know, kind of sorting out what it is that you want. This is, you know, um... I don't know. I look at this energy as kind of pensive, thinking, planning. You know, you're not rushing. Um, you're kind of in that pensive state. Uh, maybe it's, you know, I don't know. I look at these like plowing the fields. You know, it's almost like trying to gather up the dirt or to change something so that the flow is different or like regermination, you know, so something can grow here. It's like re, you know, reworking or redoing it. I, I look at it as kind of a road that's been battered and it just needs to, you know, be like replenishments needed. 